Welcome back everybody, I am of course Sam Price from OXS Skimboards and we're going to detail a little bit of a custom board build for you in this video today. Right, first up, this is a large custom slip easy model for Tom, a few of you may know Tom out there. Uh, explosive. <laughs> now we discussed this board and seeing Tom is a little bit of a bigger build for a skimboarder, it is, he is running with a standard, this new, quite hard to tell with the plastic on but it's a very dark wood grain formica so of course we've got two layers of that we've got two layers of the wood and of course instead of running with a standard fiberglass inlay we are running with this stuff now you most of you probably should know what black means when we're going to talk composites and this is carbon fiber now carbon fiber is a lot more spent expensive you can actually get it in a board to your order for an additional thirty dollars um, what this is going to do is make the board heavier because this is a heavier cloth detailing cloth weights has been featured in this video here so you can find out a bit more of the specs here but this is 50 to 100 percent heavier than what's seen in other boards which is actually going to make the board heavier but because carbon fiber is so much stronger and so much stiffer it's going to make the board a lot stronger and considerably stiffer that's what we're going for for him just as mentioned here is a bit heavier than the the usual skim water so what it's going to do is just help the board retain a bit of that stiffness when he's riding some epoxy glue uh, we we'll use this on all our boards you may or may not know but it basically gives for a near unbreakable bond to all the laminates that we put in the board that board's now in the press so we've got to wait for that and then we shape the rails right here it is out of the press looking pretty rough in that all we've, all we've got to do is turn the rails down you may or may not be able to see on camera there is a little black layer in there which is the carbon fiber now what I've got to do is usually we will mask I will mask off the rails but because there is this plastic on here I don't actually need to this now gets this epoxy layer which fully seals and helps against delamination and things like that that actually gets two layers right the rails are all sealed now so it just gets the sand up the plastic comes off and a little bit of clear coating to make it look really sharp and then on to the tractioning right here we have it basically finished except for the traction which I'm about to do Tom has chosen a green logo with white which is just like the standard feather flex layout but of course it isn't a feather flex finished item all traction ready to go as mentioned this was a custom board it does look a lot like the feather flex models but it is not it has a carbon in it you guys out there can choose anything basically anything from our standard layups but changing colors so you can pick the, the team model which was really focused on this although this is just a standard large slip easy size um, the team model was made to be tunable for you guys out there so if you like your board light and flexy you can pick light and flexy you like it heavy and stiff such as this you can go heavy and stiff um, drop us a line to sales at OXS skin boards if you are a are after a custom board if not you can browse the shop online for all the standard items i am sam price i will see you at the beach